In April 1961, Yuri Gagarin was the first man to arrive in the cosmic space. The spaceship Vostok with Yuri Gagarin on board launched into space. Where for thousands of years, the imagination of humans has created a fantastic land of the afterlife. A place reserved for angels and God. Arriving there, on his voyage, in the cosmic space or the heavens, Gagarin was asked on his return, by the Soviet Union officials, if he saw God, up there, on his journey. The official answer, was no. But for hundreds of years, the Christian artists, theologians and believers, have imagined God, existing far away, in the unknown abyss of sky, in the unknown depth of the clouds. Depictions of God, though sometimes forbidden by dogma, have imprinted the image of the Creator, and the place where He exists, in countless paintings and frescoes. God, the Father, is up there, sitting on the throne of the boundless, and tumultuous clouds, from the heights, of creation. The U.S. Genesis 1491 mission from January 1962, aims to deepen observation from the low Earth orbit, of the unknown physical phenomena around the Earth, and the possibility of existence of a supernatural entity, assumed to God, on a location near our planet. My name is William Florescu, the astronaut of this mission. My father was an immigrant from Romania. I will be the fifth astronaut to see the Earth from space. Gagarin, Shepard, Grissom, Titov, were there before me, but I will spend the longest time, alone there, in space, until now. But not much will be known about my mission, because it has a special secret purpose. My job is to find if something extraordinary has happened in the outer space. Something supernatural, divine, mysterious, inexplicable. If anyone is living there, if there is a God, somewhere, above us, 